This boy is ugly. Oh no. <laughs> enough is enough, Judy. I'm guessing the teacher wrote this. That is... Oh dear. <laughs> he literally made a third option. Okay, so as you've probably guessed already, this is funny test answers from kids. Now this is a fill-in video because the video I wanted to make uh, is still kind of in production. Right, the two reactions used in the separation of CaCO3. So this is some sort of physics or something. Reaction 1 to dissolve the CaCO3. Surprised. Okay. <laughs> Reaction 2 to form the CaCO3. Astonished. Don't write these test answers in a physics test. It's not a good idea. <laughs> okay, how many days are in a week? Seven. Okay, we're starting off well. How many months are in a year? Twelve. Is the number even or odd? Sixty-eight is even. Okay. How do you know? Because I'm smart. <laughs> You've contradicted yourself in this sentence, mate. <laughs> Because the number in the one's place is even. What? Yeah, that's obvious. Like, I wouldn't even write that because it seems just too obvious. See, what had happened was... Student name, Chuck Norris. Okay. Date, zero before Christ. Period, zero, zero. Assignment, number of assignment. Reason homework is not complete. I'm Chuck Norris, damn it. <laughs> Signature Chuck Norris. Oh, that is that kid is awesome. He deserves like he deserves a pass. Let him out. Just let him out. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be like mummy. <laughs> That's worrying. That's all I have to say. Show what you know. Use a table to solve. Megan put some crayons in a box. She recorded the outcomes of one zero pulls. Pull. Okay, so there's ten things. Okay, color one and six. Which color does the data show was pulled less often? Green. Okay, explain how you know that your answer is correct. My brain is always right. What is up with these kids, man? Like, with the, the my brain is always right. It's two we've had so far, man. Tony practices the piano 20 minutes every day. Effect, he is a big nerd. <laughs> hey, man. That's a bit harsh. <laughs> That's a bit far, man. Math test. Bob has 36 candy bars. He eats 29. What does he, what does he have now? Diabetes. <laughs> Bob has to, he has to write, he has to clarify on his own thing. He has to put it twice. Twice. <laughs> Igneous rock. Sedimentary rock. Pet rock. Extra credit. What is the strongest force on earth? Well, that is an open end question. So he can put anything he wants here. Technically, that would be correct, because the meaning of life is most definitely love. Because if you don't have love, you only have war, which means only death, and love is the opposite of death. You need balance. I mean, this is technically correct, so why do you mark him wrong? I mean, you're the one that's wrong, teacher, because you made an open-end question here. The first cells were probably Lonely. True. <laughs> That's all I have to say for that one. Write an example of a risk. This. <laughs> I like this kid. Uh, that's awesome. Yep. Give him extra points for that. That is technically a big, big risk. Don't want to go in that head teacher's office, man. 15 points. Consider the quadra... Oh my goodness. Consider the quadrilatic function y equals 3x squared. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Tetris is fun. Math isn't. I think this deserves to be in the previous one, because that's kind of like saying to a teacher that if you had one hour to live, you'd spend it in class, because it would feel like an eternity. <laughs> okay, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this bit of a filler video. I'm sorry that I had to do this in a bit of a rush. I've got a lot of, of like things to do and I've not got much time and I wanted to post this little video and I also wanted to just say thanks for the support recently on the channel. The channel has been growing massively. We got 400 subscribers in less 
than two months, and we just started. Like, I mean, <laughs> I think I just died. This guy just said pure genius and funny. That's me. Thank you.